We are live. Hello there. Whether you are live or on the replay, thank you for joining me. We are going to jump into the brand new weather and water unit from the Good and the Beautiful. This is a science unit that is combining two previous units, and we will look through the course book, the journal, student journals, the book pack, and the optional read, read extra reading for the older kiddos. And we'll just kind of go through in that order. Now, the, the units that it is combining, that it yeah, that are being combined in this one are the water in our world and the meteorology unit. So as we've done, the meteorology unit was the first science unit we ever did with the Good and the Beautiful. Um, and then we did water in our world right after that. I was thinking it was kind of like a building upon it. It's they're very similar. So I'm glad that they have combined them. And we have 14 lessons here. Book pack is three books this time. And then here's the optional reading book for the older kiddos. And we have the supplies needed. I always recommend that you look through these supplies. And if it's something you don't already have, check the activity and make sure it's one that you or your kiddos would actually be interested in before you go ahead and buy that. Vocabulary words, I like to keep them in the book and add a little flag that I can just refer back to every time we add a new word and review previous words. There we go into the lessons. This is looking very different from either of the units that it's combining with, but it does have some of the same things. It's just a different format, different layout, probably different order. Just a, It is very different. But if you've done those other two units already, I would recommend maybe checking out a different one and coming back to this after you've gone through the rest of them. But if you have a kiddo that just absolutely loves water, weather, these kinds of things, I mean, go right ahead. They'll probably love it. Otherwise, I would consider going through the other ones first and coming back to this maybe on like the next round because giving them time in between things, they'll pick up more information. It's always good to review units and topics, but it may need some time in between. If we haven't met that, if we haven't met yet, hi there, I'm Elaine from On the Same Page Together. We are a Christ-centered home of learning, and on this channel, we talk about all things family. We like to share what works for us as we strive to encourage you on your journey in life and family. Oh, I forgot to tell you at the very beginning that if you would like me to speed up or slow down, there's a little settings button in the bottom right-hand corner that you can click on and adjust the speed. It is the key to the activity in the student journal. All right. Now, the student journals are often quite similar. And the difference typically is that this one's a little more writing or this one's a little more like helping either cut and paste or the words are already in place. So typically I flip through this one and then this one to try and show you the difference. And that might be the easiest, just so you can get a full feel. Mm, I don't know. Here's already a potential difference. Let's go ahead and do that. So this one has every lesson listed because it also has the lesson extensions built right in, which I will show you. So here you have just visually different. It's probably gonna be the same thing. But here, rank the topic shown below by your level of interest in each, writing a one in the box of the interesting topic and eight in the box of the least interesting topic. Rank the topic shown below by your level of interest. And then once you have completed that ranking, use the blank lines to write a question you have about each topic. Let's see, write or draw a question you have about each topic that you find most interesting. So here they have three questions based on the top three most interesting items. And then over here, they want the question for each one. So there's a level of difference there. We have the lesson extensions. I like to always grab this one because I do the lesson extensions as family style, all of us together. I like to just have that added bit of depth to the unit. So we do them all together. And then I just choose based on the level that my child, I have a kiddo that's in between. And so we just kind of go through and see which one they need and um, purchase another one of whichever one I need for, for them. And then the other ones can kind of go in the same. They usually typically in here. 
And if I need another one, that's totally fine. With the extensions, if I ever have a kiddo that is using this book and they're not quite done with the activity, I just snap a picture, take a copy, and keep going from there so that they can keep working and we can get to the lesson extension. Let's see, we've got here. These are the same, extra notes. That's gonna be another lesson. Dangerous droughts. These are exactly the same. How humanity fixed the ozone layer. And here we have the same. So you can kind of go through them and see what is best for your child. Let's finish up the three through six and then we'll kind of go, we'll go through the other one after. My kiddos definitely really enjoy the student journals over just printed pages that I hand them. They like having it all together in their book. And then if they work to head on a, a current lesson, they can go back and look at previous ones that they might not have finished completely. Let's finish this one up. We were right here. Right here. Yes, and then he fixed the ozone. Okay. What's in the air around us? If you are interested in other updated and new science units from the Good and the Beautiful, I have a video for each one that has been released up to date of the new and updated when we started adding the student journals. I have all of those. I will link the playlist in the description box for you. I don't mind that text coming in. And then you can check them all out whenever you are wanting to see if a, you're ready for a unit, if it's going to be the next unit for your kiddos. We do a complete flip through like this of every one of those units. Oh, did we? Let's just look real quick at that one. Lesson 13. How did they do? It's the same. All right. It's the, oh, no, they have some of the letters put in to help them out there. All right. Now let's check out the book pack. This is the first one that I can recall that has three books for the book packs. We have the Blizzard Schoolhouse. I feel like this is a picture book that they've already had. Maybe that's why it's in here. And then changing weather and wild, wild wind. Since this one's right here, we'll just do that one first. Oh, that's fun. Just writing letters back and forth. Looks like it's letters about what he's learned that that ex event that they experienced together had piqued his interest in. That's cute. All right, changing weather. I like to fit these in just as a read aloud. Uh, we I do um, we do parent read aloud before bed before we check them in. So I typically do these kinds of books then I'll have a book that we are a book that relates to what we're studying and then another book that is a novel that we're reading and then I'll just read from both each time it's my turn and that seems to work out best for us but whenever it works for you it's great if it's when you're put out the lesson a little bit after or before maybe while your kids are working on their student journals Maybe they can listen to you read while they work on those. Alright, 
there's the book pack. And now the extra reading for the older kiddos here. This is, looks like a, let's see, good and beautiful art collection. Look closely. Okay, there is some reading with it, but it's a, like an art study. What do you imagine the weather to be like? So it's a little bit of an art study for them. If you have any questions, please drop them down in the comments. I love being a part of your homeschool journey and being able to help out in any way that I can. If you ever have a video request, drop it down there too. It helps me to know what kinds of videos to make if I get requests so that I can be here to help you. Oh, there's a little ribbon bookmark. Awesome. Thank you for joining us for that flip through. I have links in the description box for you and I will catch you next time. Bye.